when I was a kid, my dad used to brag about Canada, where you could be anything you wanted to be. Born and raised in a small island where you're surrounded by the ocean, and it's beautiful and green and blue. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. Born in San Miguel in the tiny Azores, David Tavares and his family escaped the political climate of Portugal for the freedom of Canada. For David, then 19, it was like starting life over again. It was very tough. Uh, you didn't speak the language. I had a good education. I had a good job back home. And here I'm knocking on doors and asking for a job. And people, uh, I couldn't understand what they were saying to me or vice versa. And um, yeah, but I did get a job. And, and after uh, a couple of months of uh, being there, I decided this isn't going to work. I've got to go to school and, and learn English. And that's just what I did. What inspired me was the guts that he had to come to this country, uh, really not knowing our language, not having a lot of money in his pocket, and being able, with just sheer determination and vision, to do what he's done in the last 20 years since I've known him. David worked hard to learn English and eventually found a job installing telephone lines. But after a few years, I started to realize that that isn't the Canada I was looking for. I mean, I had a job back home. I wanted something else. And, and I wanted to start my own business. David proved himself a successful businessman from the start. He began a trucking company and then a furniture manufacturing company, which quickly grew to employ 36 people on the assembly line. When David learned of the CRTC regulation ending the monopoly on Canadian phone companies, he upgraded his knowledge and skills and went after his real dream, a telecommunications company of his own. I started out as a small entrepreneur and then uh, servicing phone uh, telephone systems for different uh, companies and then selling those phone systems, maintaining it, providing solutions for business people. And, before too long, I realized that um, I wasn't making anything. I was only transporting goods from one supplier to another. And then we started a company, which is today uh, Globe Star Systems, which we make something and we make things that uh, are currently used throughout the world in, in hospital facilities and what have you. David's latest revolutionary product is a Globestar Systems wireless operating room solution, a state-of-the-art monitoring and wireless communication system that provides faster, more reliable and efficient communication in hospitals and, as a result, is helping to save lives. He's uh, constantly evolving, and that's what made his company as successful as it's been. He just, he finds solutions to problems. He just doesn't hit a wall and say, I can't go any further. Today, David owns Globestar Systems, Tele Connect, Tele Technologies, and Canada Pure, a fast growing beverage company. Globestar operates from a 65,000 square foot complex in Toronto, earns over $50 million annually in sales, and employs over 100 people with offices in Montreal and Calgary. I would like to see the systems that we currently produced manufacturer in every hospital around the world to be able to save lives everywhere and improve the health care, the bottom line for everyone. He was determined to do well no matter what. He raised a fantastic family and he's built an incredible business. So all the attributes that an immigrant that we'd want an immigrant or anybody to have, David has. This is uh, nice to be to be recognized for what, what I've done. It's too bad we didn't have because it was changed when I first came here. Wildly successful entrepreneur, active political supporter committed to democracy, visionary businessman, dedicated family man, David Tavares embodies the dream of immigrants everywhere. I think if you'd ask any of his close friends, they'd say he, he deserves it and he's, uh, he's always worked hard, even, even up until now. He's still going strong and puts a lot of, a lot of his life into his work. My father was right. You can do anything you want. Yeah. This is the greatest country in the world. You can be anything you want. You can do anything you want. You just have to do it.